What's good, everybody? Today, we're going to be talking about the man, the myth, the shorty. Your boy, Holy Knight Simon out here. The rare character with the LGBT blade going kind of crazy. It looks sick. I don't care what nobody says. This sword looks sick. But, yeah. What's good, everybody? Uh, today, we're going to be doing him. Putting him on the tier list. Where does he belong? And, yeah, this is definitely a random one. I tried to do, like, a little thing on Twitter. No one replied. So, I'm like, ah, I guess I'll just throw Simon in there. Since I do have his holy relic, <clears throat> and he is very underused, obviously, for obvious reasons. So, let's get to what Simon does. Well, how do I don't want to put this? Simon, sever, single target, triple crit chance, pretty nice. He has an AoE card, shatter, okay. His ultimate is a pierce, AoE, eh. His passive. Increase allies damage dealt by 15% in PvP. Eh. <laughs> and his holy relic, which is like his money maker, technically. Decreases the target's crit chance and crit damage by 100% for two turns if the hero crits, basically. Now, that's a fucking crazy relic to have. But the problem would be that his crit chance is non-existent. This isn't even his normal crit chance. 57%? It's not even his crit chance, because I have him build HP defense with um, crit chance rules. So I'm giving him 21% crit chance on top of his base crit chance. So his actual crit chance is just, no, it's like 30%. So with a triple crit chance, he has like a 90% chance to crit. And people with like newer units have like a crit resistance of like 200%. So that doesn't really work at all. But unfortunately, that's just how it's gonna be. But as you know, we're gonna. This is a tier list video, so we're gonna use them in every piece of content available. And to start us off, as always, we're gonna go into PvP, and then we're gonna head to Deathmatch, and then we're gonna head into Knighthood Boss, and then the Demonic Beast Battles, and then the Miscellaneous Tier, into where we put him on a tier list and the spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and get that going. Be sure to like and subscribe. We're gonna 300 subs. We're at 285 at the time of recording this, which is pretty nice. I love it, love the support. And yeah, we gonna be in here. I'm gonna do something special for 300 subs. That's all I'm gonna say. And let's go ahead and get into PVP. All right, now that we're here at PVP, um, <clears throat> since he wants to crit a lot, this is the team I settled for. Simon on the mono Sigurd team instead of Brunhild. Because Mono's passive actually lowers crit resistance by 30% and crit defense. So hopefully that allows my boy Simon to crit. I got Champion Melee in the back because honestly, why not? It's probably a better buffer than Zeldris in this scenario. Because I'm either critting and cucking that unit or I'm just kind of dead. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to run Combat Class food, of course. Trying to go first. If not, we might switch up. But we're probably going to run just two games, I'm assuming, of PvP. Because I don't think this is going to very last very long. And honestly, this is probably the shortest part of the video. Because he's just... Like, look at the stats. I mean, that is not good. This man's getting tapped and dead if I don't go first. So hopefully we do. Let's go ahead and get into PvP. Alright, got our first team. It's a uh, Arthur figure. I'm definitely getting out CC'd. That's not good. He's using Arthur? What a noob. Unfortunately, I lose this one for obvious reasons. He's going to target my Simon. The moment he kills Simon, I'm leaving, so. If he doesn't kill Simon, that'd be great. Yeah. Just going for the mana. That's boring as hell. Alright, well. This is an L game, but just for kicks, let's try to crit the... Who has the lowest crit? I'm gonna assume it's Arthur. Let's go for the AoE. Let's try to crit. And then just... Do that and leave. Did not crit. Is he critting the Sever card? I did. It really doesn't matter though, because Arthur's not gonna be doing any damage to anybody. I don't think he's gonna do anything. But let's see if he is attacking with Arthur or not. He probably won't, because I don't blame him. This is like the easiest one of his life. The fact that he's running this team with 180 KCC, though. 
It's not the best idea, because you're getting off CC quite easily. And I'm assuming he doesn't have Brunhild or Mana. So he's like some free to play head. I see. This Meliodas is taking over, huh? <gasps> he didn't crit. <laughs> I mean, he physically can't, but... That's hilarious that that's a thing. <laughs> Alright, just for kicks. Let's try to crit the melee. Come on. Uh, can I remove buffs? Oh, really? I don't have a ring too. Hmm, that's annoying. Alright. Let's send Simon. Go get a melee. Crit! Crit! You didn't crit, you piece of shit. Okay. Well. Let's just, let's just, let's just go home. Um, you saw nothing. Next match. Alright, who we got? Uh... Ooh, got us a Liz team. Of course, they all CC me too! God damn it, bro. Not having level 100 units on my team is really annoying. Because I'm definitely not finna out CC nobody. Well, let's see what you got. Can I credit Ian? Nice see. He wants to be that guy. Wow, that's fucking lame. You didn't kill, too. Good good job. Like, imagine being him. Alright. So he's crit downed. Let's see how this works. Let's... AoE. See if we crit somebody. Do the single target on Deanne. And then... Hmm, let's AoE with Mana. Crit nobody. I crit the Deanne. But if she doesn't even crit that much anyway, the damage is pathetic. Because I didn't get my max stack, apparently. I want to see his Deanne attack, but it doesn't look like he wants to. He's not a very fun player. Come on, man. Get that Deanne in. I wanna see. Well, she's not going to crit regardless, but let's see what happens. I mean, obviously, she just went crit. And since Dian isn't even a crit heavy unit, it's not gonna matter. I can't kill these people. This just kinda sucks. Um. I shouldn't have done the AoE, but whatever. And the team is actually very strong for some reason. And he has Tarmiel Link on her, so that's just so fun. Or him. Yeah, her. I'm tripping. Oh wait, no she doesn't. She doesn't have time. But I physically can't kill her. <laughs> Which is so fun. Uh... Well, Simon's dead. This this one right here. This is gonna kill Simon 100%. Alright. We move. Come on, man. Just let me LCC you. Somebody. Please. No. Jesus fucking Christ. Will you be the opponent I LCC? Oh, hell no, man. Come on, man. Come on, man! Alright, last attempt. Can I LCC you? I don't think I yeah, You look free to play friendly. No? Okay, well... I guess we're playing this one. Hmm. Bro, I can't LCC nobody with this team, bro. Fuck me. Well, time for Simon to die in literally one hit. Gotta love that. I see he didn't go over the sign. What a good sport, question mark? That shit almost killed Simon Joe. This might kill Simon Joe. Aren't you just a fucking speck of a fly? Well, we're in a bad position. But it's okay. Maybe. Not really. Let's go ahead. Extort. AoE. Mm, let's crit the Rimuru. Does this Holy Roman passive stay after he dies? Because he's dead next turn. Like nine times out of ten. I probably could have killed Mono, but. Does his debuff stay? That is the question. That's if he even attacks the Rimuru. But he has the buff, so I don't see any reason why he wouldn't. Like, he's going to kill my units 9 times out of 10. Because Pierce is a whole different story. But at least he won't crit. But he's not gonna fucking use him, are you? You piece of shit. 
Didn't kill. That's kind of sad. Are you critting? Did not crit. If you targeted anyone else, you would have got fucked. Alright, we're done here. People are boring. Um, Unless I get an AoE buff removal. I did not. Wow. Alright, just for fucks and giggles, let's um just throw this mono at him. And if I don't kill, I'm going on. Oh, I'm not killing if no way in hell. Unless. Frankly, he's stupid. It is a weak point card. I did kill. Good job, Mono. At least someone's good. Alright, but... Mm, Bond in the back, I'm assuming. I'm not winning this, but I just want to see who you got in the back. Goddess Liz. Yep, going home. <laughs> uh, gotta love PvP. Alright, we're done here. Alright, as you can see... Uh, pain. I mean, if I was out CC someone, maybe it would have been different, but it's not going to be, because the man is just... His HP doesn't exist, and he'll get one shot by probably any meta unit, so... Is he meta? Of course not. Hell no. Is he good? No. Not even close. Is he mid? No. Still worse than that. Is he ass? Yes. He's dog shit. His holy relic is the only good thing about him, but he can't really be alive to use it. So... Yeah, he's gonna be like the first unit in a very long time. Besides, well, I guess Slime Remover. So, never mind. As a solo fucking um, video, Simon is getting zero points for PvP. Because he's not doing damage, his crits are very hard to land, and he's just not good. So, his only relic is carrying the shit out of him, and it doesn't even work because it's on a unit with like negative crit chance. So, with that out of the way, we are gonna, gonna move. What the hell did I just say? We're gonna be moving to deathmatch. Alright, I've been sitting here for like 30 minutes. I got my deathmatches today, and I did not get a Crimson Demon. And then I've been trying to match for a fucking Crimson Demon. And apparently no one wants to invite me because of my Simon team. My team is gonna be um, Simon, Rem, and Gother trying to buff up um, or get some rank threes with Simon and shit at the same time having room kind of carry but no one wants to invite me so hopefully someone invites me mid this but since no one's invited me I could just give the rundown he's not good in original demon period that man is gonna get one shot of turn one even if you do the DN push he's not gonna do the DN push team either so that won't work so he's not getting the five points and he technically can beat Hell difficulty, but since the way I did the rubric, it's not really beating Hell difficulty, or beating on a team that can beat Hell difficulty. It's more or less the unit being able to clear difficulty skillfully. And he's a unique case, right? Because he can complete Hell, but he's not the main damage dealer. So technically he can get four points, but in reality he should get one because no matter of what difficulty you put Simon in for Crimson, he's still not going to be doing stupid damage. Like, he'll do something, but it won't be crazy, unfortunately. Like, but his crits, that's the thing, right? Because he's not really a damage dealer. He's here for the support, then he's here for the crit lowers. The crit lowers on Crimson Demon are actually nice. Because that man can't crit you when you get branded at all. And I guess that's kind of making it worse for your team since the branding cuts your entire team's uniques and passives and shit like that. So in reality, you would kind of want him to kill the unit that got branded when he brands. But just because Simon can like basically counter that because he's not going to hit you for hard since he's not going to crit him. It's kind of okay. But yeah, again, he is a very rare case. So I'm going to have to give this man a 3. Because he can clear hell, but he can't, like, he's not the damage. Like, it's weird, because he's not the damage, and he's technically not support. He's, like, somewhere in the middle. So, like, I'll have to give him the three points. I can't give him the four for clearing hell skillfully, because he's not one of those units that can just three-turn hell. And technically, the rubric is being able to clear extreme no diff for three points. But, I mean, technically, I mean, he can clear extreme no difficulty, but at the same time, he's not the damage dealer, so... We're going to settle with the three points, and then we're going to move on to Knighthood. 
So, with Knighthood Bosses versus Simon, he's not getting any score for this either. This will make it a lot simple for the people at home. Because there's no Knighthood Boss that's doing like stupid damage if they crit. Like, he's not a crit-based Nighthood boss. He's just a hard-hitting unit. And even if he was crit-based, there's three niggas on the field, and he's not critting all three. You have to use the Sever card three different times, and that's just a waste of a turn. So it's not going to work out. Einik. I think this is Einik. No, he, he's not a crit-based unit either. He's just patienting you most of the time or hitting you stupid hard. So that also won't work. And I'm pretty sure humans don't work against one of these. I don't remember which one. Akumu. Wait, no, this isn't the Kuma. Is it? I don't remember. Let me look. The name. Name. Kalik. Yeah, this is Kalik. Kalik, no. No, no. Just just no. Absolutely not. You could just nuke him, so there's no point. And then the main one, Akumu, that's open right now. Absolutely not. There's nothing going on here, so. He's gonna have to get it zero points for Nighthead Boss. Alright, now we're here in Demonic Beast Battles. This is where it gets interesting, because this is kind of Simon's little pocket low-key. So, let's start off with Bird, right? Uh, as you can see, I made it to 4-3 with Simon full health, and it's pretty good. I beat this actually a few times. I, I think I beat it twice with this team. This is my third run right now, and I just got unlucky on the last, literally, floor, like phase 4, he had one health and I didn't get cards, so. No. He doesn't suffer like Lolly Merlin does, where she just does n neglected damage overall, because Simon doesn't do damage, period. So, with that being stated, the guy isn't here to do damage, he's here to just be a support character, right? And his support is lowering crit damage, or crit existence, I should say. And phase one, or floor one, let's just run through, right? Floor one, his crits aren't that or his his holy relic isn't that nutty because he's not going to be doing damage in floor one regardless like if you have the actual team and shit like that or this team i'm using anyway because he's just not doing damage to dn not even if he crits because he'll just shield that shit right back uh, i guess i can look at the team right ah uh, never mind uh, i can just click on this yeah like this is my unit or my fucking association i didn't even use any real ones i just threw it in and then just call it a day but um He's not doing anything crit crazy for one, so that's like an easy pass. Unless you're trying to rely on him for damage, which isn't his forte. Floor two, he crits pretty decently on like phase three and four, I think. And Simon's actually cuck this dude hard as hell. His, if he doesn't crit on those floors, he hits like an actual piece of sh like try. Yeah, like for instance, phase three of floor two, how if you get him on to low enough health, he'll get that attack buff. And he crits like crazy. Um, Simon, okay, here's the problem with that one, right? Simon either completely cucks him and he doesn't crit and he does no damage, or he crits even with Simon's passive active. It's very weird because the 100% is quite a lot, and he crits every hit. He did that to me once, and I was just like, so he has over 200% crit chance, huh? Or something like that. It has to be. So sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of weird. But when we get to floor three. He's uh, still not doing damage. It's actually he's doing the same damage. His damage doesn't actually drop. It's kind of funny, unlike Wally Merlin. But his passive doesn't help that much in four th or four three in general. Like not exactly, but it does help in certain scenarios. Like very very few scenarios. It's weird. So I can give him the. He can make it to 4-3 via getting carried or via support. Let me think real quick. Huh. So I can probably give him... Because 4 points is getting carried and 3 points is being a decent support. And a 4-3... That's in 4-3. In 4-3, he's not that much of a support character. Because he's... Um, you know what? Yeah. He's a support. We're going to give him a 3 points for being to, getting to 4-3 via getting carried by being the support character. So, now, with that out of the way, we move to Deer. So, the thing about Deer with Simon, as you can see, I got to 4-2. I cannot beat 4-2 because he's just not a very strong unit for that red rotation. And it makes this, that those, like, phase 2 and phase 4, they last, like, 
three extra turns. Probably four, because he's just not doing damage, even with the Jormungandr buff going on. Like, he is actually just holding the team back in 4-2. It's kind of funny. So, he can get the... I think it's two points. Um, yeah, he can get the two points for making it to 4-2. He cannot even get to 4-3. I've tried this four multiple times, and it was not a fun idea. I got close one time, but then again, I got cucked because rotations, and he hit for patience one time. So, yeah. He can get to 4-2. He can't complete 4-2. But that's fine he'll still get the two points for getting there regardless and that'll be it for deer basically ah before i even get back to wolf i misspoken i meant to say i'm giving him two points for um not two i'm giving him um one point for deer because getting two points means you can actually complete floor two and he can't for one or getting one point is beating for one for two points is beating for two Three points is making it to 4-3. Four, four points is beating 4-3 being the support. And five points is beating 4-3 being the major carry. And he can't beat 4-2. So he's actually getting one point for that. But regardless, let's continue. So, to the Wolves. What is his scoring? Nothing. He gets absolutely nothing. As you can see, I was trying something with Roxy. I beat it, actually. Kind of funny. Roxy might low-key be kind of crazy. But this is besides the point. Um, Simon, he is so good for floor one, it's annoying. So listen, I was doing floor one a lot with Simon instead of Roxy being there. Just imagine Simon being there. His passive, or his relic works, right? And he can actually crit. But it is so good because the Sunwolf, specifically... His attacks are very crit heavy, so if he crits you, they hurt a lot. And since Simon cucks that, it's pretty good, right? Right, it's good. But the problem comes with Simon not doing damage. So he'll crit for like 2k. And that's just not enough to get past like phase 1 sometimes. Like I've got the phase 4 with Simon one time. It took a very um, crazy amount of RNG, not gonna lie. Because he'll get one tapped via his health being so small. But with him crit downing the enemies, he doesn't actually get one shot. They hit, like, for half their damage. And so, like, I, if with enough RNG and a actually wailed out Simon, I think it's possible to beat floor one with Simon. Like, it's a very slim chance, though. Very slim. Because if he's getting targeted, he's dead 100%. Which is kind of the problem. So I can't actually give him the scoring for being able to beat floor one. Because he's going to have to actually get zero points for Wolf. Because he cannot compete. Like, he's good. But if he just had SSR unit stats, he would be so good for floor one. But he doesn't. He's an R character. So it's just going to be how it is, really. You can't change that. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. So now let's move on to the final category. Now, now that we're here, miscellaneous. What is he good in? Is he good at Tower of Trials, Final Boss? Which is actually funny because we have Final Boss, Monster Speed, and Derriere, by the way. So I can actually calculate that. So is it Final Boss, um, Tower of Trials, Farming, or good in a specific lane? Let's run through it real fast because it's not that deep. Tower Charles, he's good, actually. There's a few floors where his Holy Relic actually is crazy. Like, for instance, the one floor where you can only use SR and R units, and people like struggling on for the longest because they didn't have an Aaron. You can actually use Simon. I've done it before with Simon, actually, as on our, like, a retry of it to show a friend that I could do it, and I did. And he actually used this Relic, which is critting on that floor for some reason. So, he does get a point for Tower Charles because he's actually used in at least one of the floors. And he might actually be usable in the newest floor, floor 24. Yes, 24. Because you can use the Bond team and slap him in there and it'll be fine, probably. And, so yeah, he's getting a point for Tower. Final boss, yes and no. Because Final Boss wants to be in Derriere. He, does, he doesn't get nerfed by being a human or anything like that. And he does lower their crit, his crit stuff, but they don't really crit that much. So he's not entirely good for Final Boss, but he's usable, I guess. 
Again, if you want to use the Bond team, you can slap him on instead of like Escanor if you really want to be edgy with it. So technically, yeah, I wouldn't, you won't be upset at using Simon. So yeah, I guess he gets two points there. Is he good at farming? No. His AoE is okay. It looks cool, but it's not king levels of farming, you know? It's not going to one-shot the, even the fucking CPUs. And finally, is he getting a specific lane? No. No, he's just not. So, like, yeah. I think he's, like, one of the first units to get two points from that in a while. The only units I can remember getting two points from miscellaneous is, like, Demon Lord, Rimmer, Root, and Mill. I think those are only, only two. And he can actually get two points from it. So good for him. So now that we're done here, let's wrap this all up. Go to the tier list. Put him on a tier list. Put him in a spreadsheet. And see what happens. Let's go tally up these points. Okay. So now that we're here on the tier list. Where does Simon go? That's a pretty... Actually, it's kind of funny. Oh, here he is right here. Let me just slap him up here. So Simon, out of all his scoring, it added up to nine points. So, 9 points is actually D tier, which is not bad at all. It's pretty bad, <laughs> but it's fine. It, he'll be alright. And actually, putting him at 9 points, it ties him up with this Rimuru. So, now the question becomes, since they're both 9 points and this is supposed to be in order, which character is better? Obviously, it's Rimuru, right? Because even with Simon's kit, and if he crits Rimuru, Rimuru doesn't really do crits anyway. And on top of that, he's taunting. He'll just heal it back, and then he'll just body Simon. Like, that's just a clear cut. Rimuru's better than Simon, period. So I'm not going to make a video on this one. And the other reason I'm not going to make a video on this is duly because I don't have Simon or Rimuru built on my free-to-play. So I wouldn't be able to do a video on this one for a while. So yeah, um, this is going to be him on the tier list. So let's move over to the spreadsheet and get a more accurate representation of what's going on. Alright, now that we're done with the spreadsheet, let's go ahead and look at this guy real quick, Simon. I could not put the fucking picture all the way in the corner. It's being fucking annoying and I, like it's a weird render, so I actually can't do it. But it's fine. It's a raw character, who cares, right? So, in the specifics of the specifics... In Demonic Beast Battle, he is a C tier unit. In PvP, F tier. In Deathmatch, he's another C tier. In what is this? Uh, Knighthood Boss, he's an F tier. And in Other, he's D tier. To make it a lot simpler, yep, yeah, here we go. Uh, sorry, I keep zooming in now. I'm giving myself motion sickness. But yep, yeah, we added another character to the tier list. So let's go ahead and give ourselves a round of applause. Yeah, let's go. And we're going to end the video here. <coughs> <sighs> long one. Very long one. Not really, but it felt like it. Because Simon gave me aneurysms. Overall, decent unit. It's not the worst thing ever. But he's usable. And that out of the way, I'll see y'all in the next video. Goodbye.